Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my love reading for my Facebook friend. It is actually a heartbreak situation, a breakup. It's never easy. I'm seeing here that it's not easy. It has not been easy at all. It has been really heavy. I feel like for both parties it's been really heavy, but even more so for my friend for whom I'm doing this reading. So we've seen in part one that even though at the moment you're feeling defeated, you're feeling heavy, you're feeling sad, you're feeling a little bit indecisive still about whether you made the right decision. But despite all these things, there is new love coming in for you, whether you want to believe me or not. It is in the cards or on the cards. It is written in the stars. Why am I saying that? Why did I get that message intuitively? It is written in the stars. Wow. So this person will come in with an offer. Something more stable. Something more valuable. Something more long term. Because pentacles are all about something stable. Something that you can rely on. Something more balanced. Equal. And this person who's interested in you could be checking you out on social media or just watching you from a distance, not in a creepy way though. So I feel like even if you're feeling like this at the moment, that heavy energy will lift because you will get the life you've always pictured for yourself, definitely. And this is the card of stability, of having a stable home, a stable situation, with a loving, caring partner who meets you halfway. So, I have left some of these cards for part two because I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Now, the cards that we've seen thus far were mostly pertaining to the recent past and then the present. And those were basically, those cards were basically telling me that your person the person you thought was your person, the person whom you love so much. He is really gutted by this because he can't understand why you would go to such drastic measures. But you really have your reasons and I completely agree with you. This relationship was not going to go forward. I still see it here. There's like, as heavy as it sounds, there's no future for the two of you. I mean, really, it's ultimately your, your choice, your decision. We all have free will, but I'm just telling you what I'm seeing here. So basically, you you might be willing to still communicate and talk things through. But then I'm feeling like a part of you wants to take a step back. And take time out with that Four of Swords in reverse. And then the good news is the following... In the near future, I'm saying like a few months from now, weeks or months from now, here it comes. The world with the King of Cups. This person, the new person, he could be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Or just someone with water quality. So someone who's very caring, sensitive, emotional, intuitive. Someone with a lot of water in their chart perhaps. Someone who's creative. Nurturing. And this person will see you as his world, all right? He will literally put you on a pedestal. And I'm feeling with the world coming in here, it's also telling me that it's the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle for you. So this relationship needed to end in order for the new cycle to start. On this card, we have the four fixed zodiac signs, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, so Scorpio, Scorpio is shown twice here. There's a lot of water in this whole reading, like a lot of cups energy. So the person definitely could be a Scorpio or another water sign. I'm feeling like the relationship will take time. It will be slow progress, baby steps, because you have here the Eight of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Pentacles. Excuse me. <clears throat> So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight, but he comes in with a stable offer. It's something long term. It's something tangible, something valuable. 
You will need to have patience though. This is not the Seven of Pentacles, which is technically the more like, um, the more patience card, the card that speaks about patience, if you will. But this is something related to slow progress, like someone will work towards something. The relationship might start off slowly, but the person is definitely willing to meet you halfway. They're willing to put in work, but not in a bad way, because I always say if you have to force a relationship to work, then it's not meant to be, or a relationship is not meant to feel like hard work. It should be effortless. However, I'm not feeling it's negative in this case. It's more like this person is willing to work on your common goals. The goals that you guys have in common, this person will meet you halfway. So right now we are going to clarify these cards and see what we get. And then in part three, we'll, we will get some more general advice. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words here at the moment. Maybe it's an indication that your person can't find his words. He wants to discuss things with you, but he can't find the words. Or you can't find the words. Like you want to tell him what's been on your mind and what's been in your heart. But you can't really put it into words. You can't express it. That is so totally normal, considering everything you've been through. Okay, you have Knight of Wands clarifying the five of pentacles reversed telling me that basically someone is gutted someone feels left out in the cold because of an action that was taken which is that message it was a very black like, direct message saying things need to end and these are the reasons why and it was quite sudden and abrupt all right, to clarify the Queen of Swords reversed with the Chariot, you have Five of Swords reversed. It's more or less the energy I was feeling. So this card, when it's in reverse, it speaks about victory through deceit. So I'm not saying he was cheating on you, but I'm saying what he did to you was not quite fair. Wanting to keep the relationship a secret. Wanting to keep it under wraps. It's not quite fair. The whole situation was not quite fair. So this is like the card about unfairness. There was no forward movement. There was no progress. And I feel like maybe a part of you is done explaining, done talking. You've made up your mind, even if you're not seeing it yet. You really have made up your mind. Let's clarify Four of Swords reversed. Oh my word, please. Three cards. Let me just take a moment because my breath is like I'm completely taken aback here. Okay, you have four of ones, three of cups reversed. Oh, my soul. Eight of ones. Well, well, well. So even if you feel like taking a break from relationships in general, this new person is definitely coming in. When I say new, it could be someone who's already in your life but not in that way. This is the Twin Flame card, 1111, the Marriage card, Four of Wands. Three of Cups reversed. It speaks about maybe a celebration that you're not seeing yet. Alternately, it could be referring to a three-way relationship. So I keep saying this to you and you keep telling me no. I don't know. I'll never find out the truth. But be aware that perhaps... Your person was keeping his options open. I don't know why I keep saying this because that deceit card came up. Five of Swords reversed. And in Three of Cups, <clears throat> could be speaking about a love triangle or someone sharing affections for another. If not, then it's just a celebration that you're not expecting. And look at this. Eight of Wands, fast incoming communication, back and forth texting. So you're definitely going to be connecting with this new person in the near future through social media or messaging or something, WhatsApp. Two of Swords reversed is clarified by the Nine of Wands. So yes, you have been thinking about this. You've been considering it. Perhaps you've even had sleepless nights over it. But I feel like it was not a decision you made hastily or something you took lightly. You really considered all your options. 
a part of you did not want to walk away, but you went inward and you really decided to do what's best for you. And I'm so proud of you for doing that because you have here the King of Wands. To clarify those two cards, I'm taking them as a combination because I feel like they're related. The Hermit reversed with the Eight of Cups reversed. So this person coming in is either a water sign or a fire sign. I'm seeing like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or it's just telling me that this person will come in with a lot of passion for you. Passion and emotion. Wow, what more could a girl ask for? The world and the King of Cups clarified with the devil reversed. Yes, you have broken karmic bonds. You have released negative karma, codependency, toxic connections, and you're moving on. Wow, wow, wow. Let's clarify. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Six of Wands reversed. Yes, definitely there's an issue surrounding someone not being appreciated, someone's value not being seen. But I'm feeling like it's going to definitely change. This new person will see you for who you are. And remember what I said earlier? It's written in the stars. There's the star right there. Aquarius energy. I know that this person that you've just um, ended things off with is an Aquarius. But it's not talking about that. It is referring to a wish come true. You will find the love that you've always pictured for yourself. It has been written in the cards, in the stars. I'm seeing it in the cards. It's on the cards. It's in the cards for you. It's on the table. It is coming in. Stay tuned for part three.